Hi beautiful people, welcome to Kate Space. It's Kate here, hope everybody's well. I wanted to do a little video today before I go away again. Um, I have kind of been missing in action. I did a quick video, was it yesterday or the day before, showing my um, little open, my little open spine journal that I made uh, following Heather from Ruby and Pearl's tutorial and using Line Dot Arrows, Natalie from Line Dot Arrows, her printables, her digital kit. So I did come on quickly to do that because I felt like I'd been away, but I didn't chat much because I just wanted to do, do the flip through. Um, today I thought we'd just talk about this book that I started a little series making and I've gone through and I thought we'd just talk about putting papers in. However, I have been away and the first time I went away was to go and support my daughter after she had surgery. She had some surgery on her left arm, which is amputated so above the elbow. Um, and I went up, she had the surgery on, on a Friday. I think I went up on the Sunday and I stayed with a girlfriend of mine in Rotorua. And while I was there, she gave me a whole lot of beautiful um, old books. And so I thought I'd share some of them with you. Um, one of them was this little ballet book, which I actually already have one of these. But now I think it will be much easier to possibly just take take this apart though in saying that I haven't put any of these images in the book and I'd quite like to see so yeah, I love that so that might be something to think about also she found these lovely little Helen Steiner Rice sort of inspirational verse books which um the images are really lovely I'm sorry about the shadows again I have um my lights on this time and I I kind of think that's almost worse. But today a ring light arrived. It doesn't have a stand, but that's progress, isn't it? Because soon we'll have um, light without shadows, hopefully. And look how cute the, the pictures are in this one. So that'll be fun to use in something. The other one that cracked me up was this one she got. Typewriting Self-Taught by Kate Stevens. So um, pretty happy with that. And... I don't know what I'll do with that. Probably hang on to it for a while. But it reminded me of this old book that I had. I have in my bookshelf. Um, Games for Parties by Kate Stevens. <laughs> so, yeah, I love this old book. And this has got some really kind of very old-fashioned games and things in it. I haven't really read it, to be fair. But um, it was actually bought for me because it's by Kate Stevens, which is my name. So that was cool, plus um, she gave me some buttons and things like that. So that was lovely to catch up with her. Oh, and she gave me this book too, the Saturday book, which is um, in quite good condition though. In part, it's looked like it's someone's used it to, almost to use it for spray painting or something. Um, it's, not a, it's not a super old book, but it has got some cool images in it. And it's got this neat green paper. So I've just been watching a few videos of people altering books to make them into art journals. And I'm actually wondering whether this would be a good one for that. Um, there's two schools of thought. Some people think you should get a book that's not stitched. And some say you should get a book that is stitched. I'm thinking stitch. So that's something I could use that for. And also while I was there, uh, I did a little bit of op shopping and I found a couple of little things. I found this little golden book, which isn't probably something I would use, but I might sell it. Someone might really want um, these because I know that the uh, little golden books with the illustrations by Elo Eloise Wilkin are um, quite sought after. And this one's in beautiful condition. So I just picked it up because it was like 50 cents or something silly like that. And then I also found this book in uh, one of the op shops we went into. It's called Queechy. I don't really know what that is about, but um, it's quite damaged. 1939, oh, 1923. 
so yeah it's quite old and it's got quite a damaged spine but i love this cover and i thought it could this cover could definitely be salvaged so i'll probably turn that into something and i like i, I think i'll use these book pages as well because they're quite there's that lovely paper and with this little type on them so that's cool and oh i found this book as well which is Britain's Wildlife Plants and Flowers. It's not particularly old, but it's got some neat illustrations in it. They're quite small. Like some of them I wouldn't even dream of fussy cutting. <laughs> Unless I was feeling particularly inspired. But some of them might be able to be fussy cut. There's some butterflies. And I think somewhere there's some mushrooms. Oh, look, there's birds. Yeah, so I thought that was quite good. Not a particularly old book, but um, it's got some lovely illustrations in it. And then I went to meet a friend of Barb's who follows me on Facebook, Lizzie. And um, I looked at her crafting room and, and I um, looked through some of her beautiful journals. And that was really cool. And then she gave me a box of things that she had been saving specifically for me. One of them is this beautiful book. Um, oops. Which... The cover is just amazing and I think I will definitely make a book out of this because it's beautiful. Um, I don't know how old it is, but it's, it's probably getting up there. Doesn't really say, which is fine. It's beautiful anyway. And also the book, Wonder Book of Nature, which has got this beautiful cover and this beautiful end pages which you just want to keep, don't you? You don't really want to do anything with those. Um, and then throughout here, I guess it's just a sort of a children's book of of na nature and, and things like that. So some things I'll use, some things I won't. It's got lovely pages. So that was good. And she gave me some doilies and some old women's magazines and things like that. So I was very spoiled. Anyway, then I went to Briley my daughter over in, um, in the next town over with the quite close and I ended up spending um, from Monday to set uh, till Sunday there and actually she was in so much pain and so uncomfortable from her surgery that we ended up she ended up being admitted into her the hospital she hadn't had her surgery there but um, we just couldn't get her pain under control and so yeah it was a pretty tough week to be fair and uh, I was supposed to be getting my assignment done so then I came back and got my assignment done and then we headed up to Auckland which was um, something that we had planned um, which was which was fine and I had my granddaughter come and stay and yeah so April's been hectic and because the borders have opened my other daughter from Australia is coming from Australia and I'm driving back up to Auckland tomorrow so that I can spend some time at we can all spend some time with her as a family which is going to be amazing so there you go what a lot of chatter anyway i still haven't done much on this book and i really would like to get cracking on it so we've done the cover though i haven't finished folding these over because yes i'm still thinking about what i'm going to do there with end papers and things but i did go through and start sorting uh pages to go in it um now i told you about the tip that i got from Catherine at sunnyside journals if she's uh repurposing a book she takes one of the pieces of folded paper out and cuts it down slightly and uses that as a template so i've done that so there's my template that i've used and i have um gone through and I've I've taken out some of the pages from the book so I actually think this one is from the other ballet book but I really love this image of Margot Fontaine so I wanted to use this and I've strengthened it with some washi tape because I got some new washi tape from AliExpress uh, the rest I've mainly, oh, this is, this is strengthened with a washi tape from AliExpress as well. So that's the contents page. 
And then I just picked out some other pages that I liked and I've used masking tape on those. This is the um, obviously the front and side page. So it's got the copyright date and, and the title. And this one I have used because I must have liked that image of Taglioni. So that's those. I've then I've used, I've gone through and chosen um, some of my avocado dyed paper that I had done. So I've done that. I had a little play with some images off the graphics fairy and I, I printed that image onto, uh, is that tea stained, tea stained paper. And so I've chosen some, quite a few avocado and tea stained pages. And I went through and I picked out some of this note paper that I've got because I just really love the little pink flowers there. I've got a few of those. I've got just some various lined papers, one that I've made into like a narrow fold and I've turned it up so that will be have a little pocket there. Some of the ledger I've got that's, it's not particularly old, but um, it's got the blue and the pink in it, so that works. And then this ledger, this accounting book, which was from an op shop, I will probably um, strengthen that. So I might do that now. And I think I'll just use, um, what shall I use? So I'll we'll maybe use some more of that pink washi because... Uh, then I'll have used it more than once, which is probably a good idea. I don't really know. I know there's not really any rules. Or, but so most of the paper in here, well, I guess my dyed paper is um, is copy paper, so that's not necessarily second hand. And I am going to have some digitals, but I've got some second hand and reused, repurposed papers in here, which I always like having as many as I can. And I'm just going to try and put this on here straight. Just to give that a bit of strength. Find my scissors. I wonder if it'll be better with the lights off. I'm going to turn the lights off and see if that's better. I don't know. I guess there's less shadows. I really hope that I can find a stand for the ring light. We bought the ring light um, first and then we just thought well, we'll hopefully sort the stand out at a later date when we've got the ring light and see how it's going to go. So that's cool. You'll see those little flowers peeking out. And oh, this one I wasn't sure what I was going to do with. I folded it here instead of where that is. And this is the Tales from the Ballet, a piece of old paper from that last ballet book I put pulled apart and I embossed it and I really want to use it somehow. So I don't know whether I might do a flip out or something like that. So that's why I haven't done anything there and I've just folded that at this stage. So that's just something that I'm going to have to think about. And this is just some lined note paper out of, out of a book that I, or a notepad that I picked up from... An op shop. This is some onion skin writing paper. I haven't used it before. It was just a part pad, again, at a th um, op shop. And I quite like the texture of it. I thought that might be quite nice. So I'll put that in. Oh, hang on. Why am I putting them over there? Um, yep. So that's that. And then this is just a bunch. I picked up a bunch of lined paper at a... Um, at a thrift store and it's quite nice it's got a lovely yellowy color so i think it's got a bit of age to it which is nice this is just out of a drawing pad and it's quite white i'm trying to get over my fear of mixing whites and creams so i'm doing that and this one i've i've just turned up to make a pocket or a tuck spot and some more lined paper here folded again this one is a book page with this beautiful floral on it. 
and I'll probably cover this up here somehow with a pocket or something. This is a grid that I printed. I think it's from the Graphics Fairy off one of their kits. And I had a play. I thought, oh, I'm going to try and see if I can print borderless on my printer. But I couldn't work out how to do it. So again, I've had to go around and rip all, all those things off. But I printed it onto some tea stain paper. So it's quite nice. This is a piece of wallpaper that was sent to me by my friend Barb, who gave me those books, who lives in a different town to me. And I've just ripped some, and then I realised she's written here. I found this in an op shop. She wrapped some uh, scrapbooking pages up for one of my birthdays one time. Anyway, I'll probably cover, cover that up somehow, but it's beautiful paper, this beautiful pink. And it's kind of got a shine to it and almost embossed. Yeah, it's pretty beautiful. So that's cool. And then, of course, there's the kit that I um, I bought from Heather on Ruby, from Ruby and Pearl. And she has done a ballet kit. So I purchased that. I don't know why that has stuck together there. Oh, I know, because I teased. So I printed this on... Um, oh, that's okay. I printed this on Epsom matte presentation paper and then once it's dry, once it's been left I just brush some tea over the back. Uh, you can't dunk it because it's I've got an inkjet printer, but it still gives it that nice nice old. So these are the pages I'm going to use out of the kit. stain that one yep and this one it's super pretty and this one I printed two to a page I think but I've got this white line down here but I might maybe put some lace or something or pink ribbon and just sew that in. I'm not sure, but I thought, oh, I'll tea stain it anyway, and I've got it ready to go. And then I've got some music paper. This is the cover of a music paper, and I just love this beautiful wreath here. Um, and so I've used that, and I've used some of that same washi there. So that looks quite cute. And this one, again, I was playing uh, with the Graphics Fairy images. I went through some of them and I think maybe I was watching a tutorial on there and this was one of the images that was being used anyway I've just printed that onto some music paper so I really like how that looks and then this is another music paper and again I love this image so I'm going to have that sort of in the middle and I, I've strengthened that one with some washi on the outside because I didn't want it coming through the center here so those are all my pages. I think I'm going to have seven signatures. Um, and so it's just a matter of sorting them into how they'll go, obviously. Um, I always find this really hard. And so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't tell if it, I think... I can't tell. Seven. I think those are my tea stained ones. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've only got six pink avocado ones, which I don't know why or where the other one's gone, but that's okay. I don't have much room here now because I've brought all these books out to show you. <laughs> um... So the, this is seven, and then I just kind of, I don't really know. There's probably a really sensible, logical way to do this. I don't really know what it is. So I'm just going to do this. And that's got, a, that's got an image on it, but that doesn't matter. So then the pink avocado dyed piece except for that doesn't have one <laughs> and then I've got 
three of those. So then I kind of, well, we've got the book pages. So that's obviously going to be divided up. That doesn't have one. So that can have, maybe that should have that. Um, and then we've got the digital pages. Oh, I like that. And then a piece of wallpaper, maybe. And then we've got... one's got an image so maybe this one can go there and then we've got all this lined paper we can just go that can kind of be so lined or ledger and maybe that grid Oh no, there's another lined. And then I've got the plain white. Mm. Then we've got some note paper. I'll just dot that around. <laughs> and then we've got this lovely one. And the one, this one I'm not really sure about. And that's where we got that, so maybe there. Okay. And then it's just like, well, this. That's probably going to be at the, oh, well, this is probably going to be at the beginning of the book, maybe. Yeah, then that's just a matter of just, I guess I just play around quite a lot with what I'm going to do. And that's one, two, three, four, five, five pieces. Um... that maybe that could go on the outside I think that'll go in the center but yeah this process just kind of is just hit and miss really and if you anyone's got any amazing ideas about how you can see this those are three pages plain pages in a row so I probably won't keep that one like that um, in the center and a little short page how is everybody i hope everybody is well oh the template see that's no good to us um i'm getting lots of crafting done one two three four five Six. So there's six in that one. I've got another assignment that I um, need to get cracking on. I had the tutorial today, um, and it's basically a briefing report on um, health on the on the 
yeah, basically it's a health paper that I'm doing. So yeah, briefing, briefing report. It looks quite hard, but I'm sure I'll manage once I get going. So after this weekend, I basically told my partner that I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere in May. <laughs> I am staying home. It is actually Mother's Day in May. See that I probably won't have those two like that either. It's Mother's Day in May and actually my daughter Briley and her partner who I went up and um, helped out after her surgery is going to come. They're going to come down. I wonder why I didn't put that. Oh, let's see. Um, it's going to come down and spend some time here which will be lovely um Albie her partner has never been to our place before oh see there I've done it again so that probably won't be like that <laughs> and this one's got two Yeah, so it'll be good for Albie to come down and see where we live and we'll get to spend a little time with them and take them out for dinner and, and things like that. That will be really nice. I think I'll be going to do a bit more sorting of this, uh, these signatures. Um, quite like some of them are a bit a bit plain I mean I will be decorating them obviously so that's going in the middle right. so there we go folded yes but May and then uh, my assignments due on the 21st of May and so I might I might get an extension for that but I'm hoping I will finish it and then after that week the last week of May I've decided I might just completely jump off the train and um, have a week of crafting and just just really hibernating a little bit <laughs> that's what I'd like to do so that's my plan so hopefully I'll get lots of crafting videos and things done and some books made and and just really have a, a great little relax before heading into the second half of the year okay so there we go it needs some work obviously they're not um that's not perfect but it it's getting there so that's, that's really the next step in this book is just sorting all of these out. I've, I've um, kind of collected up some ephemera. Like I've got a few rusty paper clips that I had left over. This is some more of the kit uh, that I'm going to be using. So I've went through and I've kind of gone through and aged. Some of these are from Ruby and Pearl's Heather's kit and some of them are from leftovers from the kit that I used in my last ballet book and that book that ballet book still up, up in my Etsy shop oh these lovely Dagar pictures are from Ruby and Pearl which I'll definitely be using because I just love those paintings and oh yes and I played around did a little bit of collaging and I put her on that collage it's a collage I'd already done and then I, so that will become probably a card I backed this picture and this is out of another ballet book but I probably will use that what else have we got oh we've got this this piece of paper is just a bit of a leftover oh it's a repeat of one of the ones I've already got in there I think I've got these cards that from rubies and pearls I've made some of these little book page pockets um, I may not may or may not use those oh there's another picture I've got this envelope I think I made this in a video and I'm going to pop this in so yeah I've got a few things collected up a few envelopes one some made out of the um, 
the ballet magazine that I've got. So yeah, so there's things in that's left over from last time. So I've got a collection and I'm going to put it all together. And then hopefully the next video will be will be us starting to decorate this book. I'll get my signatures sorted and show you and then we'll, we'll start making some things to go in the book. But I just wanted to touch base and tell you what's been going on, which is heaps. And I must admit, I did come back from Briley's feeling quite, quite overwhelmed. And um, yeah, I needed to take a little breath, actually, because it was a pretty tough week. And she ended up being in hospital uh, for nearly two weeks. She's only just gone home yesterday. And they uh, have got her pain under control now, which is awesome. And hopefully she'll be on the mend. And we all just had our fingers crossed that she would be well enough to also travel to Auckland to see her sister who's coming, who's flying in tomorrow. So that's the next excitement is uh, another big long drive up to Auckland, but exciting to see my family and certainly to see Michaela, who I haven't seen for well over a year. So that's pretty exciting and, and we feel pretty lucky to be able to do that. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope, I hope you've... Um, I hope you've uh, just enjoyed just hanging out as, as much as I have. I'm so glad that you'd come along and listen and, and hang out with me. And I will make a new video soon and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye.